there so this is gonna be the very no this is gonna be like the third video or the second or third video on this channel i started it off as something for school but i liked the name that i came up last minute so i'm keeping that and i used it for my instagram so currently uh well no at the part where i'm watching this video being played back i'm studying or i'm trying to get like a feel for the form of this frog is it a tree frog? I don't know, but it's really cute. <laughs> so I thought I'd like to paint it for my first art-related video. And uh, yeah, the reason that I started this channel in the first place was for math, for school, right? But now, I've decided to upside, upsize, upcycle? reuse the channel for a different purpose and that is to be a like documentation place for all the art that I'll be posting on my Instagram it's gonna be linked in my bio and linked in the description below so that's gonna be something pretty cool uh, I don't know you know I think it'll be a cool thing a little fun project for me to look back at like a few years later and see what's changed what's still the same or just see like the process of how I get my stuff done. I think it's gonna be cute, and you know, it'll it'll be like a nice uh, a nice little walk down memory lane, if you will. And yeah, so this tree frog, it's looking pretty boxy right now. But like that's how uh, the stuff goes. And the reason that, well, another reason why I started this repurposed channel was so that. I could get more comfortable drawing in front of the camera because I've tried making reels before and that did not work out well. I don't know, it kind of... When you have like a camera next to your face or in between you and what you're doing, which is drawing, um, it kind of gets awkward and you like lose sense of what you're supposed to be doing and then you're just like, this is weird, I don't want to do this. But, like, a lot of the reels that I've seen are really cool, and a lot of them are, like, uh, flips through their sketchbooks and stuff like that. And so, so, that looks fun. I might try that. And the speed up videos. But I'm starting first with digital art, because you cannot see me. <laughs> and that was the main part of it. And also, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this isn't the first painting that I've made, intended for the first video. I made three others before, but I got, you know, I wasn't really comfortable with the fact that I was being recorded, so I just kind of stopped. And the second time, I forgot I was recording, and then there was like a time limit for how long you can go, which is 30 minutes. And I, by the time that the, that the painting started to look, you know, normal, or like not something that would haunt my grandma in her dream, it... it it stopped recording, it was done. The 30 minutes were over, and I was like, oh, okay. So, now, those, both of them were portraits, but now I guess I'm gonna go for a cute frog, because I was in the fun mood to paint a frog on a little, on a stem. Banana stem? I don't know, it looks like a banana leaf behind it. But it's really cute. I had trouble with the stem, because it kept on looking like a cucumber. And I didn't want my cuc uh, I didn't want this frog in particular that I'm painting to be on a cucumber. Although, I think that's kind of cute. I'm gonna try that for maybe in if I'm if I want to paint a frog on a cucumber stick. <clears throat> but yeah, and I'm I'm doing this voiceover right now under my blanket, and it's really hot in here, and I'm just starting to realize that. But it's okay. Uh, yeah. That's that. I don't think I have much to say. But, like, this is, you know, just a little project. A, a personal project for me to see as the years go by. That's if I'm gonna be continuing this channel. I hope I will. There is no guaranteeing if I will or if I won't. But I'm gonna try my best to. Because, um, I don't know. I guess I thought it was possible because I've been on my Instagram for like a year uh yeah a little over a year now i started june last year and i was bored i was like you know what 
I kind of want to see my stuff online. I just, like, put them out there. <laughs> just for fun. I was like, okay. Because I think I was getting annoyed with whenever relatives came around and they were like, oh my gosh, can we see your, your whatever, what, whatever you're working on? And I don't know what to show them. Because it's a bunch of books put on top of each other in the corner of my room and paper in that same corner of my room. So I'm like, you can dig through this pile if you want to see what I've been doing for the last 14 years. But like, you know. And so I think that starting this Instagram also helped with that. So that if, um, you know, if I wanted to show what, uh, what I've been doing... I can just you know, they can just scroll through it and access it from anywhere as long as they have internet and and an Instagram account to see the stuff that I've been doing, right? So that sounded fun and I started it and here we are a little over a year later and the main purpose of that account was to make uh, people smile with what I've been doing. So that's also really cute and uh I hope to do that with this account too. But the main purpose is just for documentation if it does go through but like i i, re I think it'll be really cool to see it go through uh what am i doing right now okay i am going over the little hands and feet that i'm not even gonna try to it's adorable though you know <laughs> the frog is cute and i like the colors i liked the orange the blue over the green, I thought it looked cute, and then I added like a red, uh, pink, reddish undertone for the belly. I don't know, it looks, I think it looks cute, and I don't want to use like completely white, I'm trying to stay away from that, and I'm also trying to stay away from just, uh, getting the color off of the image originally, and then just using that for o over the frog, because, uh, I have to get better at the use of the color wheel and not just rely on that so that I could also get better at uh, matching colors so that soon in the future I can just do stuff naturally. So that's also a challenge that I wanted to overcome in with this video that I want to, yeah. And so this is basically going to be a place for documentation of me drawing and going and trying out stuff and challenging myself to do better because for some reason I really like art and <laughs> I like making it I like doing it, I like seeing it and I want to get better at it so while that's going on I guess for as long as I like doing art then I'd like to get better at it I don't want to stay put and fixed in a stagnant position with the growth of becoming an artist so that's pretty cool though I don't plan to work or have that as my main source of income. I don't plan for it to be a source of income. I just want it to be a little project that I started when I was 15. And then look back over at years. Or I think it could be helpful with college applications. I'm not sure how that stuff works. But we'll see. Anyway, for now. This is just a cute little frog that I'm painting. Maybe a year from now I'll still be here making videos like this. Or something else might come out of this channel but but it, like um it's looking all right right now and i'm really happy with this little frog and usually before i post stuff on my instagram i have my brother look at them because he's the most brutally honest person i know and i love him so much for that and other reasons but like you know that's also a reason as to why i love him so much so yeah that's that he he gave me the thumbs up sign i was like yay okay we're done. Bye-bye.